I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 800, wow, 800 posts, podcasts, and videos on medical preparedness for times of trouble. I'm also the co-author, along with my lovely wife, Nurse Amy, a nurse practitioner of the Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, and other books, as well as the designer of the board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, a great way to get the kids to put down those smartphones and maybe have some fun and interaction with the family. Warm weather is on the way, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention state that we can expect more cases of Zika virus in the United States this summer. Indeed, the mosquito that transmits the virus seems to have expanded its range to include 30 U.S. states. That's up from 12 in the last survey. The Aedes mosquito, Aedes is Greek for unpleasant, boy, I'll say, has been found as far north as New York, where I'm guessing it passes the winter in underground subways and other areas like that. Until now, Zika cases have all been traced to those who have traveled to the epidemic zone in South and Central America, with a number also identified in Puerto Rico and other Caribbean countries. The CDC, however, believes that there will be locally transmitted clusters of Zika virus in various areas in the U.S. That means people with Zika virus may be just returned to the U.S. from the epidemic zone, may be bitten by mosquitoes here, and those mosquitoes will then pass it on to others in local communities. We keep a close eye on pandemic diseases, and it looks like Zika virus is the one to watch out for this year. As such, we've researched everything that the average citizen should know about it, how to identify it, how to prevent it, and what the treatment options are. As an obstetrician in a previous life, I'm especially interested in a disease that can cause sometimes disastrous effects on newborn babies. But it does more than that. Zika has been associated with nervous system disorders like Guillain-Barre syndrome that can cause sometimes permanent paralysis. In the lab, as a matter of fact, the virus seems to be very destructive towards nerve cells in general. We decided to put it all down on paper in our new book, The Zika Virus Handbook. Like our 2014 book on Ebola virus, the book has everything you need to know about this year's pandemic disease, Zika virus, and as always, it's all written in plain English. The Zika virus handbook explains all you need to know about the epidemic in a calm, no-nonsense fashion. The book gives a solid plan of action that can be easily followed in a concise guide. All this from a physician that has decades of experience as an obstetrician and whose mission is to put a medically prepared person in every family for any disaster or epidemic. In fact, as far as we can tell, this is the only book on Zika written by a physician, not to mention one who's cared for pregnancies and who's focused on the field of disaster and epidemic preparedness. The book doesn't just talk about Zika virus, it also outlines other pandemic diseases, past and present, and discusses ways that you can help control the population of Aedes mosquitoes in your community. Like many pandemic diseases, controversial theories abound about why Zika has become a threat. And you'll find these and our commentary on how plausible they are in the Zika virus handbook. There's no need to panic about Zika virus. The CDC stopped short of predicting an epidemic in the U.S., but it's affected 64 countries so far, and it only makes sense to learn about any disease that could affect your family's health. You can find the book at Amazon.com or at our website at doomandbloom.net. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Oh, and hey, don't forget to subscribe to our website at doomandbloom.net and this channel, our YouTube channel, Dr. Bones Nurse Amy, for regular free updates throughout the year on Zika virus and many other medical issues that can affect your family's health. Thank you. Hey, if you need a solid medical kit for the range, for that hunting trip, or for disaster settings, check out Nurse Amy's entire line at store.doomandbloom.net. Thanks again. <music>